Hi everyone, Clovis here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to link fast parameters to a bone rig like in the overview example. So, first, here is the final result. So, as you can see, if I pick this zone up and down, it goes up and down the shoulder, left and right, it rotates left and right. And it's pretty much the same for every limbs, okay? So not on this one because it just bend on one direction. On this zone here, I just control the arm twist. Over here is the hand rotations, right? And then there is a, a zone for each finger on each bones. So how to achieve that? I will start with a simple scene, so this is just my model, the skin, and this is all the rig I have in this, in this scene, so it's pretty basic, nothing too complex, uh, just FK in this case, no IK, no IK, FK, or things like that. This is the controller for my shoulder, okay, it works in translation, and then I rotate directly these big bones, okay, to control my FK. This is doing the twist, and the hand rotation, okay, and then I can rotate each bone for the fingers. Right, so that's pretty simple. Now how to link fast zones to these bones, rotations or control positions or, or whatever. First, of course, you will have to create zones. So I will use the control tool. I pick this mesh. Now I need to create zones because there is no one on this one. So I go to my editable poly or even edit mesh, whatever. I just prefer to use the face selection in the editable poly because you have to grow and shrink. And now I will create a zone for my shoulder. So let's pick these bones, for example, these faces. Okay, let's say it's the faces I need, so I will call it shoulder and create. Okay, so now I can visualize my zone. Okay, I can edit it, if I want to add more polygons in it, okay, okay let's say it's okay. So I have my zone, now I want to link this zone to this controller, so for example when I go up I want to control this controller on the z-axis, okay, just check, yep. on the y-axis, sorry. And when I go left or right, I want to control on the z-axis. So I just click on wire, so I have now access on the right window, the up, down, left and right directions of this shoulder zone and on the left hand side I have the controller for this circle because I just selected it before clicking into wire. So if I open its controllers I see that I can directly link for example the up direction to the Y direction and I connect it. So now 
I run the tool so you can use the shortcut she did or directly use this fast button you see it works but it's really too fast so I can divide this value and update it now it's exactly what I need so as you saw I didn't link the down direction just because when you run the tool like that and if you press shift to see the values you see that the up value is going up to zero but also below zero just because there is nothing linked on the down which means that well, this value goes from minus, I don't know, 1 million to plus 1 million or maybe more. I don't know the, the limitations of max. So you can just link this directly to the position. Now I want to link the z direction, okay, with, for example, I think it will be the left direction. So I will connect it, I will divide it again, like the other one, and try to run the tool. And it works. Left, right, up and down. So with this method you can really link all those bones with some different areas. So let's do a few other ones. So the biceps here upper arm, I will create a new zone very quickly ok, let's say something like that so, upper arm create it now I know I will have to link this bone rotation so I can select it, click on wire, and now you have this bone selected. Okay, you can even refresh here to clear this view. And you can link its rotation to the directions of the upper arm zone. So here you will have to transform a float value to a rotation value. So to do that, I will just do this little arrow to link them and then change this value to a rotation one so I will say dig to rad to transform degrees to radians and press connect so maybe I will have to negate this value or divide it because it will be too fast again so I will try that okay oh I linked the wrong value so okay I didn't check it properly, so I don't want to link the x value, but the z rotation value, so I can disconnect it and link the z rotation. Click to rad and connect. Now it's okay, but it's going really too fast, so just divide it. Okay, a bit less. Should be alright. Okay. Now on the other axis, so this time it's the y axis. So the same here, take to rad, divided by five, should be alright. Up, down. Oh, as you can see here, when I go left, it goes on the wrong side. So to change that, I will just minus left. And now it's working properly. So if I'm on this zone, I'm rotating the shoulder. If I'm on this zone, I'm rotating the upper arm. 
that is pretty simple and you can do that with all these bones let's say now I want to create a forearm so I will do another zone okay, quickly like that let's say it's okay forearm right I want to link this bone rotation so wire but this one just have to rotate like that because an arm doesn't do that or even that it's impossible so I will just wire the Y rotation so the Y on the left and right so just one direction is enough back to rad of course and I guess minus yeah it works so now all you have to do is create more zones to, I don't know, maybe rotate on another axis maybe rotate the hand, maybe rotate each finger it's up to you you can even add a morpher or a bone to control uh, this area and add a zone here just to move the spectral muscle or whatever really you can link anything you want that's it cheers <laughs>